Hi, this is Brian Wisner, and it's a snowy day outside. It's here in February. As you can tell, I've been doing a little bit of tackle organization. And as I was going through this, I thought I'd share a video with you uh, about one of my favorite swim baits. Well, not actually one of them, but my favorite swim bait. And that's Mike Fuca's Bull Shad. You can see it up here. Now, this used to be one of my secret baits. I didn't talk about it to many people except for close friends that I went fishing with. And it really helps me catch a lot of giant smallmouth bass. I've caught more 20 inch smallmouth on this lure than anything else in my tackle. Now, Bull Shad have been coming out with some new sizes recently. Um, this one right here is the six inch and they've got fives and now they have fours and they've got some really big ones too. And most anglers have heard about the bull shad by now. Now, the sizes range, like I said, from about four inches up to nine inches. And I think they have some uh, even larger ones than that, but I don't throw those yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. Uh, the colors include gizzard shad, threadfin shad, dirty bone, bone colors. Um, what I've been sticking with has been the gizzard shad. That's my favorite color. And uh, you can get them in, in different kinds of weights. You can get floating ones, slow sinks, and fast sinks. So depending on your fishing style, you can get different kinds of bull shad to match the depth that you're trying to uh, catch your bass in. Now, my favorite is this six inch slow sink in the gizzard shad. That's my favorite pattern. I've had a lot of success with this. Uh, several years ago, I got my first one and that weekend I took it out, I was just slaying and crushing the smallmouth on the river uh, for about two days. And then I hooked into a big one and I lost it. And when I looked at my line, I had a nick in my line and that's why I lost it. I should have been uh, retying my hooks a lot more or retying my lure a lot better. And I was just devastated. I had this fish catching machine and I lost it. So as soon as I got home, I ordered another one because I wasn't going to be without one in my tackle. This thing is just that good. Uh, I carry it with me almost all the time. Now, uh, one of the things um, that uh, I'd like to tell you is just how I fish it. Um, people fish them different ways and for me the best method is just burning it across the surface doing it pretty fast uh, doing that in shallow rivers with a little bit of current no current or doing it in lakes up on the flats because if you burn it across the surface they just come up and crush it and uh, I hardly ever lose a fish that hits it hard. Occasionally they'll follow the bait and you'll see them coming up behind it but they just won't commit and if they're like that, if you, if you stop, the bait actually turns around and looks at the predator chasing it. And sometimes that's just enough to get them to commit. Now, one of the other things I want to talk about here is this six incher. This is about two inches, a little bit less, I mean two ounces, a little bit less than two ounces. I think the five here, um, you can see the size difference. The five is about one and a half ounces, a little bit under that. And the other one here, is this new four inch. Now I haven't tried this, this one yet. I'm really looking forward to this this spring. Um, there's some other four inch swim baits that I've been using in the past and I've caught some good fish with them and I've got some confidence in them. But I think once I start throwing this, I'm gonna see my catch rate go up a lot and we're gonna start seeing some bigger, bigger fish. Um, so this one, I'm not sure what this weighs, but it's probably under an ounce. You could throw this on almost anything. And speaking about throwing it on things, um, you might wonder what I throw it on and if I can do this without smacking the wall or the ceiling this is my swim bait setup for the bull shed I use a Dobbins Champion XP and this one's the 795 swim bait uh, mega top water and this one can throw one to five ounce lures it's rated for it's a medium heavy with a fast action and I like to use monofilament line I use 20 pound monofilament on here this has been a great rod for me for throwing that six inch. Uh, the reason being is it's got that nice fast action tip, um, but it's a medium heavy and with the monofilament you get just enough bend and enough give that the fish can grab it, pull it down. You can set the hook and get a nice set there. If you tried to use something a lot stiffer, I think you'd be pulling it out of their mouth with that kind of weight and those hooks. You'd be yanking it back out. So this has been really good for me and I like that. And I've got a loose speed spool on here. Uh, I think this was uh, inshore, what is it, a BB1 with a 7-1 to 1 ratio, and that's worked out really well. So 
that's my setup for the six inch uh, the five I'm not sure what I'm going to use on that I'm going to play with it a little bit this year probably go with a, a cranking rod I have um, that's uh, uh, been working really well for top water I think it'll work well for that the four inch I can use just about anything any of my smaller rods on that so again I'll be experimenting to try to find it sometimes you have to play with your different rod reel combinations with the heavy heavier lures or swim baits to find out what works best for you now I sit this down without hitting the ceiling again well hit it a little bit um, one of the things I also wanted to mention about these is the sound and the action when you bring this across the water you get such a nice snaky looking action when I take a friend out and I say, hey, you know, let me show you this new swim bait or a new one to them and show them how the bull shad swims across the water. I mean, they're amazed at the action that this thing has and everybody is. It's just so good of an imitator of a fish. And along with that action, you get a sound. And it's not like, like a rattle trap or a crankbait where you get that ch -ch -ch. This has a, a different kind of sound and it's almost like a clacking. I don't know if you can hear it here. But it, it clacks together as the pieces are moving through the water, and that can be a good, uh, a good way to attract the bass. Along with uh, the displacement, this really has to send a good signal to their lateral line as they're hearing this move through the water and feeling the vibration from this bait. So this is my favorite swim bait, Mike Buka's Bull Shad. Uh, I like the six inch. I've got the fives and the fours, and like I said, they make them all the way up seven, eights, nines, and I, th I think bigger than that. Uh, if you're interested in getting one of these soon, I'd, I'd recommend uh, getting a hold of Fishing Online. They carry uh, the Mike Buka Bull Shad here, and they'll get it to you quickly. So give the folks over there a call, look at, look for, look at them on the computer, and I'm sure uh, you'll have one in your post office box in no time. So everybody, have a good time out there, and good fishing to you.